Good morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions. Thank you again so much for our time together. Looking forward to seeing you in the services tonight and all the services tomorrow as we come back again to the Apostle Paul in this very long passage of Scripture. Have you noticed how long it is? I wish God spent that much time talking about the great revival in Ephesus, but he shows us how to face the injustice of this world. So we're going to spend more time in it again, all the services tonight and tomorrow. Right now, I want you to come with me to the book of John chapter 6. John 6, beginning in verse 27. Do not work for food that spoils, but for food that endures to eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. On him the Father has placed his seal of approval. Then they ask him, what what must we do to do the works God requires? Like, what are the works that God requires of us? And Jesus said, the work of God is this, to believe in the one he has sent. Now, brothers and sisters, we are saved by faith. Abraham believed and it was credited to him as righteousness. Go through the book of Hebrews chapter 11 and see all the great men of faith. They believed and they were counted righteous. The same plan of salvation has existed from Genesis to Revelation. There are people that today would tell you, don't read the gospels because Jesus was under the law. Salvation is different now. No, notice. How do you do the works? What are the works God requires to believe? Paul teaches us that that everything about salvation has always been by faith. Now, I want to challenge you today, brothers and sisters. We're, We're getting more and more into two extremes in Christianity. We have the people who think that we're saved by works, and we have the people that think that, I don't know what they think, but I want you to just come back to the simplicity of it. What are the works that God requires? Believe in Jesus. It's just that simple. I want to challenge you today. Believe in Jesus.